And here we are again. It's been another two weeks, but I kind of had to get some fuel for this fire, I think, maybe, for what's about to come. So here it is. The question I've been realizing for my own self is, why am I asking for what I want? What is it that is causing me to ask for what I want in this life? Who wants it? Do I really want it? What are these factors that are causing me to want what I want in my life? Why do I want to be healthy? Why do I want to be successful in a certain field? Why do I want to be with my perfect mate? There's all these factors, and really what it boils down to is one factor that causes me to want what I want. Now what I want you guys to hear today is that it is not a selfish wanting. Yes, there can be selfish wanting, but the yearnings of your heart, the blissful feelings that are moving through you in times of truly imagining what it is you are wanting is not for you. It is for the expansion of the divine consciousness. It is for the expansion of the universe. Once we are able to accept that we are the divine consciousness in form, when we accept that, then we no longer ask why we are worthy of accepting or receiving anything. When I accept that I am in totality the ultimate presence that is called God, when I accept that, I no longer need to ask why I deserve this or why I want it or anything other than the fact that I want it because I am God and God needs to experience everything. When we recognize that you and I and the puppies and the trees and the enemies and the are all God. When I accept that fact, that complete understanding, that universal knowing within the center of your being that you refuse to acknowledge, then everybody deserves everything they truly want because it is God wanting it for itself. In acknowledging that I want a career path that suits me most beautifully, in wanting a mate that is so compatible with me and may be very different from me that it expands both of us to the ultimate state of awareness, in wanting perfect health and to be in complete order physically is not being selfish. It is God, you, who you truly are, your true self, your soul self, wanting to experience the magic and destiny that is mine. We are all God creators. We are the expression of the infinite presence. Take that into consideration and feel what that means. You on a soul level are more than your body. Every cell of your body is God. Everything in this universe is God. And you, in your recognition of you being a conscious creator, a divine manifester, realizing that you are experiencing yourself and that you deserve that strictly because it's all just a fun experiment. We are in our fullness God, Source, Spirit. This meat suit, this clump of clay is so magnificent because it's more than that. Every cell, every atom has consciousness, has awareness within it. When we are forgetting that, we are neglecting our ability to experience all the beauty that is wanting to show up in our experience. Breathe in and recognize. Challenge yourself. Do your best to accept, practice, make it a habit every day. Say to yourself, I am source consciousness. In every aspect of who I am, I am God. Every cell of this magnificent body is God. And when I recognize that, it doesn't matter what I want because everything externally from me is not external from me, but it is me.
once I finally truly can accept that I want to be free and I want to experience all the magic that is of my majesty, that's when we live the life that is intended for us. That is when the happiness that resonates and the joy that resonates from within you can be perceived externally always. I love you guys so dearly. I hope that helped you in some way. I know I needed to express that and I hope that resonated with you. I love you. You are me. I am you. We are one. God is all.